Well, this is my place here. It's nothing special. I moved here a couple years ago. It's real simple, not a whole lot going on in here. It's just kind of real humble. Got my trophies up on the wall there. It's a nice, simple place that I call home. This two bedroom apartment may be small, but it's all Brian Harmon needs. I still live in the same apartment I did when I played on the mini tours. So when I come home, I'm like, well, this is five months away if you don't play well. Life is comfortable, not flashy, just like his favorite TV show. I'm a big Duck Dynasty guy. I mean, this show kills me. These guys, I mean, they remind me of my family. It's such rednecks. It's hilarious. I need to get these Duck Dynasty guys to teach me how to blow a duck call. I mean, I have no idea how to blow a duck call. Every time I do it, it sounds like a, a wounded duck, maybe. Well, you don't want to hunt. not hunting those. Harmon's humble nature is undeniable. But in the gym with trader Randy Myers, his competitive side shows through. Every time that I'm at St. Simons, I try to work out as much as possible. Randy's been awesome. He's put some weight on me. He's put some distance in my game. And so I'm just going to continue to be on the same plan I've been on the last three years and try to work as hard as I can and just try not to let anyone outwork me in the gym. So the whole key with you, with your running that's improved, is obviously your, your gait pattern's a lot more efficient. Mm -hmm. Brian moved to Sea Island to train and become one of the best players in the world. So in a rookie season, you know, maintaining your card, having a good run into the playoffs has been outstanding. But I think it just gave him a taste of how good he can really be. Stay tall and push through, push, push, push. That's a great transition right there, Brian. We're gonna do two different segments here. Keep that foot up there, it'll be more efficient. And then drive and turn, good. Drive and turn. <sighs> Giving away all your secrets, Harm. I think mentally it gets you way more prepared because you know how hard you've worked leading up to a tournament and you feel more prepared and you feel more ready to go and maybe like you have a little bit of an advantage sometimes and range is a big part of that. Elbows in, drive through, good. <sighs> What we try to do with Brian, because he's an uh, ambidextrous golfer, is we try to strengthen both sides equally. Most golfers have one side dominance, but with Brian, because he's right-handed except for swinging lefty, we're really trying to work on strengthening both sides equally. Harmon's dedication in the gym continues to have a positive effect on his game. Randy likes to mess with me because I'm a short guy. It's not so easy for a short guy, Randy. This is... Uh, how you win golf tournaments is down here in this court. Tired? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Oh, my legs are getting like jelly, son. The last half of the year, I worked out before I played every round. And I think my stroke average went down like probably at least half a stroke. So for me, that's enough. You know, half a stroke every four days, two shots a tournament, and we'll make you a lot of money out there. 35th on tour in driving? Is that right? Something like that. All right, what are we, number one in driving next year? I think a more fit, better in shape athlete is, is gonna perform better. You can't let someone out work in the gym. You gotta try to be in as best shape as possible to give yourself the best chance. There we go. 